showing a little, showing a little too much leg there. What up, y'all? Back with the third and absolutely not final pre-tour video post for you today. We're heading out with the Struts and White Reaper for 25 dates in September and October. The only thing that I'm probably more excited about is my new Adidas slides, okay? Go Orioles. And today, I'm gonna talk about Asheville, North Carolina. There's two North Carolina shows on this run. One's in Carboro at Cat's Cradle, and the other one is in Asheville at the Orange Peel. We've never played Asheville, but I've been there a couple times. There's a uh, synthesizer company called Moog. Moog, no one knows. Honestly, literally no one knows if it's Moog or Moog. That's beside the point. They're located there. They are an amazing company. They set the standard for analog synthesizers. I have a Moog Fuger as a little pedal. Paul loves this stuff too. And I actually have a Moog Voyager. Sometimes I say Moog and sometimes I say Moog and then I'm covered. The Voyager got really popular the last decade. Um, they have the, the glow in the dark one. They have the all white one. They have the one with 14 more knobs, as if anybody knows how to use the first 48 knobs. But my Moog is special. It's one of the first 600 they ever made. This thing treated us well. If you're, if you're a fan of the band for a long time, you saw us perform with the Moog, drag that thing all over the place. It was not made for live. It's heavy, it's delicate. Um, and that's where the story turns sour. The Moog stopped working. Things got a little bit wacky, started to not stay in tune. That is not a good sign in the middle of the show. And I decided, you know what? I have this thing, I'm gonna put a little more money into it, I'm gonna fix it up. Get the replacement parts I need, I'm gonna take it to the store and they're gonna help me fix it. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Not if Moog has anything to say about it. They say, mail us your synthesizer to Asheville, North Carolina, if you want it fixed. Mail us. It's like 85 pounds. Spend $130 on shipping with the most prized, fragile possession you own in the history of your career if you want it to work right. I'm not taking that risk and I just am gonna drive my keyboard to North Carolina. Just pissed off, me and the keyboard. I'm like looking in the passenger seat, keyboard's changing the station. I'm like, come on, man, not listen to that. We're both so pissed off, keyboard's like, driving me down to North Carolina. I'm like, yeah, I'm driving, I'm driving you. So I drove my synthesizer town to Asheville, North Carolina. Honestly, it was, a, it was a proud day for me because I got down there and the technicians in Asheville had never seen one as old as mine. They hadn't seen the operating system. I was like, I'm an OG, I'm sorry. I don't know how to use any of the buttons. They were like, whoa, man, this is wild. You use it like this? I was like, it's like just like this. My man Danny Sesson said, it's not the wand, it's the wizard. The Moog is safe and sound, it works. It's all upgraded. I got mine year 2000-ish, and that's that. So, the date of that show is the 10th, October 10th, Orange Peel, um, 9th, Cat's Cradle in Carborough, if Asheville's not your scene. We'll see you there.